Hey y'all, this is Deep Track Zach. I am back today for a video for a contest entry for Edward. Um, actually, his channel's called Prog Hat. Um, he's been in the VC a while. Um, I first met him over at Rachel's live streams. Um, really nice guy with a really good channel and he even does a few of his own live streams now. Just like I said, really nice guy. So I had to enters contest for 1980. He wants to show our favorite album, um, favorite album cover, and our favorite song of 1980. And I struggled a little bit with this because 1980, my favorite music wasn't come out in 1980. Um, I'm more of a 50s, 60s, 70s guy, but I did have some a lot of songs I like. I was seven going on eight in 1980, so I was starting to discover and seek out music on my own. Um, okay, starting with favorite album. I decided uh, on this for my favorite album, um, and it's hard to beat. It's uh, actually my favorite Queen album, I believe. It's Queen's The Game from 1980. And uh, quick story about this. I remember listening to this at my best friend's house, Brad, when I'd go spend the night. Uh, he didn't have it, but we'd sneak into his brother's room when his brother was away. He had a huge record collection, and this is a record that we would put on. Um, starts off with Play the Game. Great, great song. Uh, Dragon Attack. Oh, that's got such a funky bass groove in that song. I love it. The one everybody's heard. Another one, Bites the Dust. Need Your Loving Tonight. The old throwback 50s rock song. Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Rock It. Don't Try Suicide, Sail Away, Sweet Sister, beautiful ballad, Coming Soon, and it ends off with the epic song, Save Me. Just great album. Queen's The Game, 1980. All right, favorite album covered. Like I said, I struggled a little bit with this too. There weren't a whole lot of good album covers, in my opinion, in 1980. But there's a story behind this one. Um, this... It's a uh, Atlanta-based old funk soul group called Brick. And at first glance, there's nothing really special about this. But <clears throat> when I first saw this album a few years ago, I said, that looks familiar. And I knew they were from Atlanta. So I started thinking, um, there is, on top of the Hyatt Regency in Atlanta, actually, I noticed this a lot when I was a little kid going down the interstate. Um, you can't see it anymore because there's been a lot of new skyscrapers built in Atlanta. But on top of that Hyatt Regency was a lounge restaurant. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but it's got a big blue dome. And that's where these guys are posing for this album cover. At, uh, oh, it's called the Polaris. The Polaris Restaurant and Lounge. It's still open. I think it was built in the late 60s. But you can't see it going down the interstate anymore. You've got to get into the streets of Atlanta and find it. But uh, that's, uh, that had a local connection, personal collection, uh, connection, I mean. So I went with that. Brick, um, Waiting on You from 1980. With uh, Oh, and the restaurant actually rotates. Um, that's another cool thing about it on top of the Hyatt Regency. Polaris Restaurant and Lounge, that's where they took this uh, cover photo. All right, and the last thing from 1980, your favorite song. I decided to go with this wonderful uh, Eagles song from the end of their career before it was rebooted. But um, I've got this record somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I just printed out a picture, Seven Bridges Road. Uh, with those wonderful, wonderful Eagles harmonies. Um, this is actually a cover of an old country rock song by Steve Young. He wrote it and recorded it first. His is more of a subdued, laid back song. Um, but I think more people know the Eagles version with those epic harmonies from the uh, this album, Eagles Live 1980. This was released after uh, 1979's The Long Run. But uh, 
very popular album, double album, with all their hits. But yeah, that's that's just a hard song to beat. Seven Bridges Road. That's gonna be it. This is a quick one. Um, I think Edward's giving away um, PayPal of thirty dollars, um, so you can pick the album of your choosing. That's a great amount of money. Very generous. You can get pretty much. I don't know, any new release that you want or uh, shop for something. If you want to get a grail, that'll take care of a good portion of it. But thank you, Edward, for having this contest. And it's getting toward the end. I think there's about a week left. He extended it. So if you get a chance, uh, get into Prague Hat's 1980 contest. And thanks again, everybody, for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.